Now next up in our architecture patterns is service oriented architecture pattern. And this is one degree higher. Uh, it has one degree higher separation of concern than the microkernels. So microkernel we've seen there's a core system and then there are some plugin systems. But with the service oriented architecture, everything, like a lot of the, the aspects and modules and components from our architecture have started becoming services. And they're all at the same level. There's no core component and plugins. There's nothing like that. All of them are equal. They're, they're all started to becoming services. Now, um, even though there are multiple services and we are really just two steps away from microservices because after this, we just have microservices and microservices. So SOA patterns ideally start looking like microservices, but the main difference that comes here is that the database is still a monolith. There is replication of databases, there's sharding of databases, uh, but the data databases are still a monolith in the sense all of the services they're using the same database. So why don't we take a look at how it looks like? This is what an SOA pattern looks like. So you have now complete clarity and separation of concern for the actual responsibility of every single service. You have that, you know, there'll be a separate account service, separate booking service, separate ordering service, separate shipping service. If this was an e-commerce, you have complete separation of concern now. There's no core and then plug in all of that. Everybody, all of the components are actually services. And this is, we're very close to actually getting to microservices now. Uh, and many people actually think that this is microservices actually because uh, you know this is what it looks like but keep in mind that uh, from what i've seen soa architecture uh, they don't have more than like 10 uh, such services right when you start integrating them into very small services then they start becoming microservices now they're just S soa architecture uh, and they are not uh, necessarily making calls to each other for data they they are connected using an esb as you can see and the most important thing which separates them from microservices is that they are still using the same database. So the database is the same, even though you can see there are multiple replications of the database, there'll be sharding of the database, but the database in essence, um, the complete data will be you know, combinedly stored in one place. So even account service data will be stored here in the same database cluster, book service will be stored in the same place, order service will be stored in the same place. This is what's uh, going to happen.